ask you if a clock edge does not arrive at the different clocks sorry different flops at exactly the same time then the clock is said to be skewed between these flip flops right so the difference between the times arrival at the flip flop is said to be the amount of clock skew are you getting in uh, uh, key reference we have discussed that uh, short document right in that also we have discussed about uh, this queue what is the queue if the clock is arriving at the source and destination flop at different times then we can say it as that cl the clock is queued right skewed between these two flops that is what here uh, they are telling first is clock queue is due to different delays on different paths from the clock generated to various flops okay so different length of wires what are all the reasons for this what could be the reason different lengths of wires gates or buffers on the paths next flip flops that clock on different edges that clock on different edges need to invert clock for same flip flops getting the clock to control loading registers so these are all some scenarios because of that we will get the clock skew okay that uh, do you have any doubt yeah uh, in uh, low power the getting the clock means uh, you are giving uh, if you consider the normal flip flop we are having the clock terminal right mm -hmm. clock input terminal there if you are uh, applying that clock with the gate suppose you are ending that clock with some other input okay. after that you are applying that as a clock mm -hmm. in that case we can say it as a cl uh, gated clock yeah Yes, sir. Uh, use mic here. So many things are missing, you know. getting okay now we'll going to consider uh, okay we'll uh, going to analyze the clock skew with this uh, circuit okay so here we are having a d flop and uh, two uh, d flops are connected in serial and uh, in between these two clocks we are having or gate right and uh, look at here the clock path here connection is there okay and uh, this not gate the clock which is going to second d flop is inverted right now here what we can say this is the uh, first flop second flop the clock arrival time uh, in these flops will differ right because of this gate yeah. this not gate right so we can say c2 is queued after c1 now we are going to analyze this one with the timing diagram okay so this is the uh, default uh, clock period of this one second c1 c2 this is the c1 uh, c2 for c2 how it is going inverted one right that's what then q1 this is a q1 q1 is going to or gate or gate okay yeah now we have to uh, see this uh, d uh, d2 right so d2 is delayed because of what this or gate right so because of this or gate 
it is delayed and here here we are getting right and that too yeah that should satisfy the setup time and hold time of the next clock cycle that's what here they mentioned the setup time right so for this the maximum clock frequency is what propagation delay of this one we know that one and the combo clock setting between these two flops or get delay plus setup time of this flop so this is what the maximum time period right okay so here we have not considered the inverter delay okay that's what we have not modified the uh, in this uh, max frequency cal uh, calculation formula okay now look at here if we are considering this gate will going to produce some delay in that case c1 is the same clock and c2 is delayed because of this not gate right that's what we are getting some delayed version okay now q1 we will get the q1 at the same uh, same time right because it will not going to do anything with that uh, clock path it is getting properly so it will produce at the same time this q1 output okay next